What's up guys, my name is Vishwaraj and today we're gonna learn about Django REST Framework. With the help of Django REST Framework, we will be learning how we can create a REST API which will later on will interact with our Android application, iOS application or website. So let's get started. The first thing we will do is to create a simple application in Django and later on we will be adding the REST API feature to that app and the third tutorial which I will make will be based upon how to code an Android client which will interact with the REST API. So let's get started. First of all, I hope that you already know how to install Django. You just need to hit pip install and Django. This will install the latest version of the Django in your computer. But uh, I have already done so, so I won't be doing this much. So first of all, um, we will be creating an application. So let's get started. Type Django. Uh, just to here and yes so Django Django admin start project and we're creating a simple blog type application or to do you can say so yes the project has been created and now we want it to move into that directory so just hit this and now we are inside that directory and in this we want to create a separate application which will be holding our rest api information right so we need to hit command like manage that python and start the app and we will name it as api cool it's been created now basically it's time to view that created application so yes it's being there and now before doing anything else we want to do first of all migrate the databases Right, so manage.py and um, we just wanted to hit the command migrate. Right? So it will be migrating all the stuff, all the database tables will be get created. In this, basically we have users uh, using the default SQLite. And now everything is being done so far. So let's to interact with this application, we need to create also a super user. So let's create a super user and type um, create the super and the user. And it will ask for the default name of the user so we will give it as admin fine it will ask for an uh, email so basically i will be giving gmail.com and the password password that's it so it's been created now it's time to interact with the server so let's start in another separate console so i will type manage dot py and run server so it will be running into its default IP or port. Yes, it's localhost 8000. So just see whether it's working or not. So localhost and that's it. We will be just 8000. And yes, our server is live. So how to interact? We wanted to move into the admin panel and the password and admin that I have shown you how to configure. And now it's blank. Right now we ha doesn't have anything related to our application so let's code the application so first of all you need to create models now what are models models are basically a structure of a particular stuff that suppose if you wanted to create a block then we will name it as first of all you need to create a class and name it as block and it will inherit the model class dot models dot model and now we wanted to create the features like it will contain the title and the title must be having a uh, of care field and uh, the max length of this care field can be anything like uh, 200 and another thing that we will be creating is the body body of the blog post so models dot the text field and yes and max length here also you can give 200 that's it now we wanted to represent this into by the name at the back end so we will be using unicode to show it's fine so this time what we have did we have created our model now what model will do basically this is the basic structure or block the block will contain a title the title will be of care field it will contain a body portion it will be of text field and the maximum length can be 200 and 200 and this is don't worry about this basically it's a function which will represent um, your blog at the back end with the title name right so 
let's uh, migrate the database with what we have created. So you need to hit the command manage with py and make migrations to tell the uh, database that yes we have created the models and now it's your turn to convert those models into the actual tables or records so just give it hit and enter and it will say no changes okay so before doing anything we need to tell the Django that yes uh, we have an app which is API in the entire settings so we need to find the setting portion yes and we need to tell the Django that we have installed apps which is API so now just go here and type the same command and now it should detect yes our model is being initiated and the records are being added now final commit we have to do by giving the command migrate now it will actually store everything in the databases you can see the changes now now this is all done right but we wanted to see at the back end in the admin panel so you have to do small tweaks you just need to go here at the admin.py and we need to first import the models that we wanted to show in the admin panel so just type from dot models because we're in the same directory so that's why i've used in dot you can use api.models also let's be more clear so an import which which model you wanted to import is the block so just rename it and now just you need to type here this admin dot site dot register oops register right so what you want to do register is the block yes cool so now basically just go first of all check whether the server is live or not yes first of all just start the server and yes our server is live and we must see the changes at the back end yes you can see the block is being added now if you click on it you will see that yes our model is working properly we have title yes we are heading towards the Django REST API REST API you so just save it and yes you can see uh, the, the, the this function uh, which were in the model the define unicode self dot self dot title will actually representing this so cool uh, our backend is ready right so basically it's now time to to create uh, a view for it so first of all you need to go at the views file and we're going to create a function like define and it should be like home function and since it's a mvc framework and technically it's a mvt framework but uh, it's okay in an mvc framework there is a router uh, a route file a controller and a view the view will show you how your data is being represented in front the model will actually the structure of the thing that you wanted to show and the controller which is actually a view right now will control how this should be managed so now we are right now coding a controller which will direct that how our data should be represented so first of all we have created a function called define home and it should be receiving a request and return render and um, just request and um, that's it so here we will be just index.html yes so it will be once after receiving the request it will sending the control to the index.html right and but before that we don't have index.html so right now we have to create so first of all click on your api folder and create a new folder and name it as templates cool so once it's being done, you need to create a new file and save it as index.html. So right now it's been created. Now basically we want to just um, create like all the blog post. And now here basically we want to just say, hey, welcome to see all the posts, right? And uh, basically just, we just wanted to just um, see how it's happening so but one thing we have to also make sure that we want to keep it separate like if somebody will type particular thing in the domain like suppose show and uh, or uh, yes show and we want to see from api.views import the views okay it will be like api import views 
we wanted to import the views because it's a URL and when somebody will type the show after the URL like this show it will pass the control to a particular view which is um, this function and then this function will particularly pass the control to the index.html and this how it roots first the control will be from URL to views a particular function will be get executed and then later on it will pass to a view uh, um, index.html sorry so this is how it works now before moving towards or further we just wanted to create a URL so after somebody will type show we wanted to just say like um, views dot home that's it and now basically just go and type show and you will see yes hey welcome to see all the posts because the control is working fine so we are able to see this so now right now we have done what we have just created an application um, called block which and we have created the models and now we have created the backend um, we have registered that into the admin panel now what are what else things are left basically to show our data actually into the view and the second tutorial I will be telling you about how we can add a rest framework to this application and uh, later on the third video will be about how we can create an Android client to work with those API remotely so that's was that was all guys so be tuned to the next tutorial thank you for watching guys